Today is March 2nd, 2023, and this week there were 137 reported cases of COVID-19 in Charlotte-Mecklenburg County, which shows a 16% decrease over the last two weeks. Therefore, each subject is comfortable not to wear a mask. So, um, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, so my name is Skylar. I'm a student at Queens, um, majoring in international studies, minoring in Chinese and East Asian studies, and I am a current junior that just transferred in. <laughs> Nice. Where um, did you transfer from? Central Piedmont. Okay. And where do you call home? Charlotte. <laughs> Have you grown up here? Yes. Nice. Um, so describe your experience during the last two years or more during the COVID-19 pandemic. Like how, what was that like for you? It was really weird at first because when it first started happening, school, I was in school and the teachers were like, yeah, so um, school's going to shut down for a couple weeks, but we'll be back. And that that time just kind of kept getting pushed back and pushed back. And it, at first it was like, oh, it's no big deal. And then they're like, oh, crap. Yes, it is. Uh, and then everything shut down and it was just sitting at home being bored. And then because it was my senior year, when it all started happening, teachers were kind of just saying, whatever, don't, you don't have to do any more work because we're going to have to pass you anyway. <laughs> so I didn't have anything to do. I did, I still did school work just to keep myself busy. But yeah, that's how it started. What were some of the things you remember most during that time? Or like some core memories? I think just like going out to get groceries and no one being there. And then like the streets were empty. There was no one on the roads. I was like, goodness, where are we? <laughs> and then also masks. Yes, that was a, that was a transition. <laughs> um, how have your friendships or family relationships changed during the pandemic? Um, so I guess with family, it didn't change a whole ton. We did start spending a lot more time together <laughs> in the same space. So I think, uh, you know, there were some, some moments where it didn't get along too well, but it was whatever. I'm glad I had someone there to talk to. That was a big help. Um, friends, I was still able to keep in contact with all of them. We, I, it was nice having people my same age because then it was, we could still talk about school and like how that was impacting our school careers and mm -hmm. all that. So yeah, I think overall relations, relationships stayed pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. How um, did it affect you that it was your senior year when you were going through all of this and your senior year of high school is supposed to be like super memorable and lots of big events happened. So how is that like having to um, navigate during the pandemic? Yeah, I mean, the first semester was great. Um, I had actually been... Um, not out of school, but off campus for my sophomore and junior year. And so I was really happy that I was going to be back senior year. Um, so the first semester was good. Um, and the second semester started and then everything shut down. I was like, the one the one year I get to come back to school is when I can't go. Um, but yeah, I missed out on prom and graduation. I feel like prom, like that was that was OK. But like graduation was a little bit of a disappointment because I feel like that's like a really big milestone. Um, I still did get kind of a graduation, but it was like in the middle of a parking lot <laughs> with like my parents in a car. So, you know, definitely different, um, but it is what it is. It's definitely something that I will never forget. <laughs> and then how is 
your then transition to college, like you're starting this new chapter of your, chapter of your life, but it's kind of under different circumstances. What was that transition like, or even your decision to come to Queens? Yeah, so um, I initially was at Central Piedmont, um, completely online, and I had already had some practice beforehand um, when I was out of school, um, being online and doing schoolwork remotely. Um, so I. I'm glad I did have some practice with that because I think that made it easier on me than it, and some people had a little bit more of a rough time. Um, but yeah, just, it was, I, I'm a, the kind of person who likes being in the classroom and interacting mm -hmm. with classmates and teachers and so not being able to have that was kind of stressful. And I felt like I wasn't learning the material as well as I could have. Um, but I was like, we had Zoom meetings with teachers and I really enjoyed those, especially a couple of them because I was the only one who would show up. So it was just me and the professor for, um, a couple hours, uh, which was completely fine with me because I like building relationships with professors and stuff. So, um, yeah, I was online my entire time at Central Piedmont. And then when I transitioned here last semester, is thankfully all in person. How is that different than what you had just been learning, like the format you've been learning in the past two years? Um, so just a lot more like direct instruction from the teacher. Um, not having to look at a teacher through a screen. It's really nice being able to ask them questions like in the classroom was a lot easier. But, and, uh, well, still using online platforms like Canvas or Blackboard or Brightspace to turn assignments in, but not having to rely solely on those was, again, really nice. <laughs> um, and then kind of switching gears to the activity we just did before this, is there anything that surprised you or like um, any big pieces of whatever you've written on your hand map that um, you want to share or were big parts of your experience during COVID? Yeah, so um, I honestly think that the biggest motivator for me getting through it was just school. I feel like the school has always been my big motivator. That's what my life is at the moment. Um, so like still wanting to like keep myself on track in order to like graduate on time and everything like that. That was, I was like, okay, gotta just learn how to work with the circumstances. But then also um, having like parents, um, who were super supportive and there to talk to and friends I could call and be like, hey, what's up? I know we can't like meet in person, but what are you doing today? Um, yeah, I think those were the top things. Um, what do you think are some good things that you've learned through the pandemic? Like. Um, I've learned how to work remotely. Um, I think that's a big one. I learned how to use Zoom and uh, Ring Central <laughs> and WebEx or whatever it's called. Um, so a lot of technology because I'm not a technology person. Um, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, you talk a lot about like school and um, how that was a big motivating factor for you. What goals do you have for yourself in the academic arena? Yeah, so um, I got my associate associates at Queens. Um, I'm sorry, not Queens, Central Piedmont. I'm here at Queens currently <laughs> to get my bachelor's. Um, still debating on whether or not I want to go and earn my master's degree 
Um, but I would like, I don't know if this is a part of the question, but like moving into a career that focuses on like um, international diplomacy, um, I want to like uh, focus specifically on relations between China and the US. So hopefully I can like go be a go between between the two countries and work with both of them. Um, do you have any additional stories or experiences to share about your experience with COVID-19? Um, like any memories from like spending lots of time with your family in the house or memories of you like venturing out of the house in public when um, there was quarantine restrictions? Um, or anything about like what it was like coming out of all those restrictions and like finally being able to interact with more people in person. Toilet paper. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> Just, um, yeah, that was, that's more of like a funny one. But um, no, I think just like being isolated for so long there was like no cars on the road and then once everybody started coming out it's like oh my gosh like I actually have to leave my house like 10 or 15 minutes earlier than what I would have during COVID just to get someplace so but it's nice because that means like everyone's getting out more and hopefully we're coming out of COVID so yeah what do you think are some of the long-lasting consequences of the pandemic that will kind of stick around? Remote working, um, people working from home, maybe not necessarily every day, but I know like a lot of businesses have been like, we're transitioning to like three days in the office, two, day, two days at home or whatever. Um, so I think we're gonna see a lot of that, um, maybe some, companies who have transitioned more online stay online maybe they don't even go back to an office um in terms of school i maybe there there'll be more online learning maybe not necessarily like direct instruction but more like assignments for watching videos or like using online platforms such as canvas um but i think a lot of the effects we won't know for a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you think this experience as a whole has shaped you as a person? It's, uh, definitely taught me a lot. <laughs> it's taught me how to adapt to situations really quick and just learn how to be okay with that. It's okay, well, it's not okay to me, but I have to learn to accept that it's okay that like I'm not able to do everything that I want to and like learn how to say, okay, the scientists, the doctors, they know what's best and they're not going to try to, hopefully they won't lie to us and say, we are okay when we're not, or we're not okay when we are, so. Nice. Anything else to share at all? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.